still looking for an inmate who escaped from Berkeley County Jail. They were originally looking for three escapees, but last night officers found two of them. News 2's Ashley Yost tells us how the two inmates ended up back in custody and the latest in the search efforts this morning. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Octavia. Well, this parking lot we're in right now, the parking lot of Big Lots on St. James Avenue in Goose Creek, was home base for officers. There were regular uniformed officers and also special weapons and tactics units in this parking lot last night. Both sheriffs, Berkeley and Dorchester County, here last night on a Sunday night. They got a tip that the prisoners were in a house in the Foxborough neighborhood in Goose Creek, which is right around the corner from where we are here. Officers weren't sure how the prisoners knew the people in that home, but they got a search warrant. The special Forces team surrounded Surrounded that house. Brothers Michael and Matthew Chaplin surrendered, came out, and officers took them right back to the Dorchester County Jail. These two were originally locked up for major theft charges. They'll have some more charges tacked on since they broke out of jail and ran from police for three days. And this is the third guy they escaped with last Friday morning, Donald Ray Little. He's facing charges for burglary and making methamphetamine. Last night, Berkeley County Sheriff Dwayne Lewis said they wanted us to share this picture, so take a look. They're taking tips from the public and following leads to try to catch him. At this time, uh, the Dorchester County Sheriff's Office, Berkeley County, Goose Creek, uh, SLED, and a host of other agencies are actively looking for Mr. Little. Um, at this time, the scene has been cleared in Foxborough Subdivision in Goose Creek. Uh, there were no injuries reported during the execution of that search warrant. So as a reminder, they broke out because they broke a metal table and then used the bar to pin open a window. It was a very narrow window, 24 feet tall, but only nine inches wide, then used a sheet to drop down to the ground floor. We asked those sheriffs last night if they had any leads as to where Little was. Obviously not wanting to share that information with us now. They don't want him to catch wind of that, but they are actively looking for him this morning. Live right now in Goose Creek, I'm Ashley Yost, News 2.